Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel ecommerceplatforms.com. In today's video, we're going to go through the Shopify launch checklist. If you're about to start your own Shopify store, then you've come to the right place. But before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss any of the good stuff. Alright, let's get into it. Before you press that launch button on your new Shopify store, let's make sure you've got everything set up right. Here's a checklist of things you should do before launching your store. And we start with number one, choose your plan. If you decide to build your site with a free trial, then you'll need to make sure you have the right plan before going forward. There are various options available from Shopify depending on your specific needs, but it's probably a good idea to go with the basic Shopify or the Shopify plan. Step number two, set up a custom domain. This helps establish a stronger online presence and shows your customers you are committed to running a professional business. Step number three, choose your sales channels. Deciding how clients can purchase your products is the next stage in establishing a successful Shopify store. Fortunately, Shopify allows you to add a multitude of different sales channels, including buy buttons and checkout links, eBay, Amazon, Facebook Shop, Instagram, Messenger, Pinterest, or Google Shopping. Step number four, optimize the checkout experience. The checkout process is one of the most important things and can determine whether your customers choose to close a transaction at your store or not. Make sure of a few things. Display clear shipping rates on the checkout page. Allow customers to edit their carts easily. Offer familiar payment methods like PayPal or credit cards. Enable discount codes and gift cards. Provide your customers with order tracking options. Make the contact page available in case of issues. Send email notifications to confirm purchases. Set clear shipping policies for all types of sales. Implement language and currency switchers for international customers. Number five, update your tax and shipping settings. It's critical to consider your shipping options and tax settings accordingly to the goods you'll be selling. If you're uncertain about the tax requirements connected to your business, it's worth taking this to an accountant to get some more directions. Step number six, verify email notification settings. A Shopify store owner values email notifications greatly. You'll need to have your email settings implemented correctly to connect with your customers, manage notifications and even implement marketing. Options include Seguno, Clavio, Shopify email, and many others. You should be sending at least the following emails. Shipping notifications, order confirmation, abandoned cart notifications, e-receipts, and welcome messages. Number seven, build your core website pages. It's time to start creating the vital pages your Shopify store needs. It's important to note that having simple product pages it's not enough. While the exact pages included on your website may vary, most companies use the following. Homepage, contact page, about page, an FAQ or frequently asked questions page, store privacy policy and terms and conditions. Step number eight, conduct a content audit. Although making mistakes when you're hurrying to launch your store is simple, completing a content audit is crucial look for broken links or grammatical and spelling errors. You might find it's better to work from the last paragraph and go all the way up, as this way errors will be more likely to jump at you. Next, optimize your images. Customers must be able to gather as much information about your products from the images you share as well. Slow loading or poor quality images can damage your website and reduce user experience. Fortunately, Shopify does handle the technical parts of keeping images loading quickly, so you should be able to save some time here. However, it's best to consider a few things. Use descriptive file names. Optimize alt attributes. Compress your images, meaning keep your file size as low as possible. Review thumbnails. Make sure they look clear and consistent throughout all of your website pages. Number 10. Implement an analytics tool. 
the greatest method to steadily enhance the functionality of your website and increase sales is to gather as much information as possible. Shopify offers its own analytics tools, but you could also use other tools like Google Search Console, Google Analytics, or Adobe Analytics. 11. Install useful apps. Shopify's ability to make things simple is one of the reasons it has become such a powerful tool for online business owners. There's a comprehensive marketplace in the Shopify App Store that allows you to extend the functionality of your website with everything from wishlists to marketing tools. And finally, number 12, test everything before launch. Setting your Shopify store to go live is the last step of the launching process. It's worth taking some time now to go back and test everything one more time. So there you have it, our complete Shopify launch checklist. Follow these steps and you'll be just fine on your way to launching a successful Shopify store. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the box below. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.